not in the... No! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's it. Okay, there we go. Master Chief is grooving. Halo CEA time. It is here. The first Halo CEA Insider Flight is live. You guys, check your emails. If you're not in the Insider program just yet, you can click the link in the description below to sign up. But we get a small taste of Halo CEA on PC today. We're looking at the campaign as well as hopefully hopping into some multiplayer. I'm super, super excited to see what this game looks like. Max settings on my rig. Let's go. So arguably one of the most famous missions in all of Halo history, Silent Cartographer is what we're checking out today. It is one of the easiest to speedrun uh, missions and it's got some epic skips. It's legendary in the Halo speedrunning world. Are you guys ready to do this? Just do, let's do this. I will say some of the actors are not translating totally properly yet. Do you see the chop? I think once it switches out of the cutscene though, it should be pretty good here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay. It feels super, super smooth. For those of you in the flight, you actually have to unbind your vehicle mouse one function or whatever the vehicle function one is in order to get the zoom working. That's one of the known issues with the build. So with CEA, oh my goodness, look at the light. Look at the light. Ah, oh, that's nice, man. CEA brought with it this fresh toggleable new set of visuals and I adore the new visuals. Granted, there's a lot of people who don't. They say it's way too bright. It messes up the vibe of what was going on with CE. And I understand that, like I totally get it. This looks way cooler than that in terms of planet stuff. But ultimately I'm glad that they went with a different take on the visuals to be honest with you. So if you're wondering why we're going backwards, it's because this is the easiest to break mission for speed running ever. All you gotta do is run back here, hop in our Warthog, and let's see if I can actually remember how the speedrun strats work. Silent Cartographer is one of the most broken speedrunning missions ever in the history of Halo, and I encourage you guys all to check it out and maybe learn it for yourselves because it is uh, not very complicated, but really cool sequence breaks. This mission is the one that's gotten more people into Halo speedrunning than like anything else. This is not how I drive in real life, don't worry. <laughs> Somebody put some sick beats to that. <laughs> yeah, Master Chief, get it, brother. Master Chief is grooving. <laughs> first try, first try tail whip. Didn't happen. Let's try with the old visuals. The lighting in the old visuals definitely carried with it more grittiness. All right, second try. Failed. Oh, so close. No. Well, boys. We're right stuck. <laughs> there we go. First try. First try every time. <laughs> oh my goodness, that took way too long. So here's one of the areas that I think like you can definitely see from this to this. I love like this new change. It's different. It's not the same. It's not like as spooky, but it's pretty cool. I don't know, man. I'm a fan of uh, different takes on everything. There you go, hit that corner there, and if you hit it just right, you end up, where's the, oh, there's the overshield. Oh no, I'm gonna miss it. Oh, that's okay. And now, this is where the level got insane a few years ago, because the new speedrun strategy, well, uh, let's just check it out. This trick is beyond precise, by the way. The craziest grenade jump ever in Halo, dude. Look at the timing on this. All the way back up to the top, gets in the hog, and then gets out of there. Oh my Thank gosh, you. that's incredible. I'll be taking the stairs. So check this out. If you hear me, I double tap reload, then swap weapon. Hello, hunters, I'm not in the, no! <laughs> Easy grenade jump, grab this active, and then, whoa, 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 whoa. Mr. Jackal, please move, sir. So a pretty great technique that everybody should be using if they're playing CE is the backpack reload. Double tap reload and swap weapon. And your weapon will reload while you have another one out, which is super useful all over this game for plenty of different things. And then all we gotta do here is grab our hog and we're right back out. But that's why the world record is three minutes, dude. Absolutely insane. What's up? Man, it looks really, oh, it's gonna squish it. It's totally gonna squish it. There it is, silent cartographer. The cutscene actors do look funky. It's like they haven't been, 
I guess uncapped frame rate doesn't really play too well with them. Dude, the Pelican in this game looks phenomenal. Oh, sweet. Truth and Reconciliation is also here. There's a bunch of cool speedrunning tricks and assault on the control room. We could try the drop. Something for the next video. Okay, so sad news. Multiplayer servers are not live right now, so I'm gonna have to record that later. So we'll look at another uh, campaign mission, but a couple of tech things here if you're playing in this flight or getting ready to play CE. Backpack reloading. On something that has a super long reload time, like the rockets, doing backpack reload is essential because you get to fire your weapon, and then when you bring it back out, instead of having this super long reload, what you get to do is reload, reload, swap weapon. You can actually hear it in the background swapping, and then you bring it back out. So you always have a weapon up. That's kind of the point here. Also, uh, flinging power weapons around is a big part of this game. So if you <clears throat> notice here that I put a grenade over there, it's going to physics weapons all over the place. It's a very um, high-end skill set that a lot of the pro players for CE had dialed to the max. This game also does not have the same leniency when it comes to jumping as you fall off ledges. Most of the other Halo games, like if you press the jump button right as your Spartan's coming off the ledge, you'll get the height. But if you try and do that here, you're just going to fall off. I recommend rebinding jump to your mouse wheel. Uh, so if I just scroll mouse wheel down as I come off the ledge here, um, I'll end up gr grenade throws on my mouse wheel as well. But I end up giving myself the best chance to actually get the jump off instead of like spamming my space bar like, oh no, I missed the jump. What, what the um, scroll wheel lets you do is make sure you're hitting the jump each time. It's putting the input in as often as possible. There is fall damage in CE. You don't have to be that high up to trigger the fall damage. So inputting crouch right before you hit the ground allows you to cancel fall damage. Normally, that drop would do a little bit of damage. You'll see here. Boop. So uh, crouch right before you hit the ground. It's a pretty tight timing window overall. Grenade jumping is also a pretty big part of this game. Whee! You can get up to places that you normally wouldn't. And uh, as long as you've got full health and shields, you're good to go with just about anything. All right, let's go play another campaign mission. One more thing you guys are gonna wanna know is that the weapons are projectile in CE. So if you're trying to play it like hit scan and wondering why your uh, shots aren't registering, it is a projectile based game. So you need to lead your shots. And also hit detection is pretty wonk in this game. Fastest way to move is holding W. Um, like if you're going around corners and stuff, if you think of yourself like a car and you drive yourself around corners like a car. All right, this is AOTCR. This is one of the most irritating missions in the game. It's super long in my opinion, but there is a really interesting skip and strat that's extraordinarily difficult. It's not really difficult. It's just you have to have the exact perfect setup for it to, to work. So this trick is extremely precise. Halo CE speedrunners can can definitely vouch for that. And then we pull back towards the wall. Oh no! <laughs> but if you hit this trick, you end up getting to skip the entire mission, which is really. Or if the designers wanted the installation to have inclement weather. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! That's it. Okay, there we go. Because when you hit this. It now despawns all enemies for the rest of the mission. It's super cool. And uh, that's it. That's bridge skip right there. That's the, the bridge drop. And that lets you basically skip the entire mission. And you have to be careful at the end here because there's more to it. Like there's a little bit of a jump. Oh, okay, cool. And then from here, uh, there's a drop. And here we're trying to hit this, hit the wall, hit the wall, hit the wall. Yay, yay. And then tap crouch. We did it. Huzzah. And that's it. The rest of the mission, every enemy is despawned. So as long as you know the proper way to go and what triggers to hit, you have done it. This is one of those missions too. Like, look at this. I love the remastered visuals for this level. Like the exterior stuff for most of CEA, I think is pretty darn awesome. It looks really nice on PC. Frankly, I wanna see what the modders are gonna be capable of doing. So in summary, first impressions of CEA on PC are quite positive thus far. I think there's definitely concerns about the custom games browser not being present. Like I hope that's something that gets finished before launch because so much of Halo CE on PC was that robust custom game library. You guys know in like CSGO, when you go into the community uh, server tab, it lets you try out a bunch of different maps and game types that require you to download certain uh, mods right away. I feel like that would probably be the saving grace for a custom games browser in Halo because 
at least in Reach right now, the way that the modding scene is, it's cool that it's happening, but I don't think most players are getting the chance to participate in it because there's not an accessible way. There needs to be a, an easy route for players to try out a bunch of great user-generated content without having knowledge of like Nexus mods and uh, a small group of friends that are all modding together, if that makes sense. Who knows, maybe a third-party custom games browser is in the works. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow looking at the multiplayer side of the flight, giving you my full details on it. But yeah, man, overall, quite happy. If any of you are at all interested in speedrunning CE, there's some awesome tutorials out there, and I think this is probably the best Halo game to learn how to speedrun first. Mainly because it has just some really cool skips and sequence breaks, which are some of my favorite things in speedrunning. Plus, the execution required for all of the tricks isn't insane to just learn the game at a base level. To run ILs at the highest level, some of the tricks are insane, like you saw. Shoutouts to the old school Naked Eli speedrun tutorials for showing a lot of people how to go fast and enjoy this game in a speed setting. Thanks so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed please subscribe to the channel hit the little alarm bell and shout out in the comments down below if you want to see some more speedrun trick breakdowns have a great rest of your day and i will see you guys again next time